Hey, hey, third grade. Today we're going to be making some trees in a winter landscape. However, our winter landscape is not going to be like any other winter landscape. We're going to be using the color wheel in the rainbow order to make a colorful landscape in the winter time. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to make the trees with um, oil pastel. So here's the oil pastels from the art store. Now be careful. I just got chalk all over me because chalk looks almost the same as oil pastel and it gets mixed in sometimes. If you pick up an oil pastel and it's making a giant mess, you're probably using chalk. So chalk is the same stuff you use on the chalkboard. It's powdery, it's chalky. If you get a piece that might be chalk, bring it to me and I will put it away. Or you can put it with the chalks if you know where they go. This is an oil pastel and it's creamy and oily and it doesn't rub off all over the place. It might rub off a little bit, but not much. You can also kind of test it to make sure by like rubbing it on the back. If it kind of rubs everywhere, this rubs a little bit because I already have it on my fingers, then it's chalk. If you're not sure, then ask. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write my name and I'm gonna write my room number. Okay, I could write three A, B or C if I want to, but that's good. And now I'm gonna pick a color to draw with. I'm gonna use this black piece, but you could use a different color. You don't have to use black. I'm gonna take off this paper so it's a little bit easier. All right, so we're gonna be making at least six trees. You can make more than six if you want to, but um, we need to have at least six because we're gonna have the whole rainbow. And there's at least six colors in the rainbow. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start, let's start in the middle so we know that we'll have enough room. So in the middle, I'm gonna have two in the middle. So I'm gonna make one upside down V-shape for the top of one of my trees. And then I can make the other one taller or shorter. So maybe I'll make this one a little bit taller. So now I have this one. And you know what? Let's plan out the rest as we go as well. So I have two. So I can add another one to each side. Maybe this one looks like this. This one looks like this. These are the tops of my trees. So I have one, two, three, four. Then I can add one over here. Maybe this one's a little bit wider. And then six. So count. Make sure you have six at least. You could have seven if you want. Maybe I'll add seven. No, I'll just do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have six um, trees and we planned out where they're gonna go. Now we're ready to start drawing them. So these are evergreen trees. That means that the tree stays green all year long and it, the leaves don't fall off. They're usually pine needle trees. So we're gonna draw two little nubs on the inside of all six of them to show that that's like the first layer of the pine needles. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna draw a line that kind of comes out on both ends. Maybe you have a skinny tree, maybe you have a medium tree, maybe you have a long fat tree. So here are two sections of pine needles. Usually every time you go, it starts to get a little bit bigger. So we're gonna repeat that process again. We're gonna come in. I'm gonna do that on all of them at the same time. Come in just a little bit, then they're gonna come out again. So they can kind of curl out a little bit. And eventually your trees might bump into each other and that is totally fine. That's gonna make it way more interesting. Let's come in a little bit on these. I'm gonna do this at least probably four or five times. You could do it more. Some of them you can go and do it five times. Some of them you can do it six times. Come out. I kind of think I want some of them to touch each other. Ooh, this one's about to touch. So let's do this like two more times. Let's come in. In. And then let's come out at least one more time. Let's, that's probably enough for that one. Oh, this one's gonna touch, so I'm gonna stop where it touches. This one touches, so I'm gonna stop. This one touches, so I'm gonna stop. This one's gonna come out. This one's gonna come out. This one touches, so I'm gonna stop. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw the bottoms of my trees. So the bottom of your tree could be straight. That's not very realistic. So I'm gonna make mine kind of bumpy, like a zigzag line and I'm gonna connect the bottom together. And if you touch another tree, you'll just stop. And then that tree looks like it goes behind the other tree, which is actually a really cool um, 
addition to your art to make it more interesting. They're overlapping. So this one's overlapping that one a little bit. Usually you want to make sure the ones that are closest to the bottom are the ones that are in front. So because this one is closer to the front, it's closer to that one than that one is. So this one's going to be behind that one. If you're not sure if you need help with that, just let me know. All right, now I can draw some little triangle, not triangles, rectangles, silly me, at the bottom for, you know, those tree trunks that trees tend to have. And now I am finished drawing my leaf my trees. The last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a horizon line. We talked about a horizon line last time. So your horizon line could be all the way up here. It could be in the middle. It could be down towards the bottom. But it has to be at least up high enough to touch the, the tree that's farthest up, if that makes sense. So this tree is up the highest. So I'm going to find the tree that's up the highest. You find the one that's up the highest on yours. And I'm going to make sure the horizon line is higher than that. So I might make the horizon line like right here. Okay, so I know the horizon line is going to go behind these trees. So I'm going to come out the other side. I could make it kind of a wobbly horizon line. Or it could be straight. So I'm going to come out the other side here and here. And maybe it kind of comes up there. So there is my horizon line. So I am finished with my trees for today. If I would like to, I could add some texture by adding some lines. I think I'm going to do that on all of them. You could connect some of these by making some more wavy lines to connect each section that you created. That actually looks kind of nice. So I'm going to do that on probably every other one at least. But they could all look different because you're art the artist and you decide. Maybe I'll just add some texture on these. So I'm going to draw some strip, some flat lines that make it look like it's prickly. I could do that on this one too. Maybe on this one I'll add some here. And then a good artist knows when to stop. If you're at the point where you're like, oh, I'm ready to color these, you're going to stop there for today and we're going to paint these next time. So just put your oil pastel away, make sure your name's on it, and put it somewhere safe. All right, guys, I will see you next time.